Today, we're diving deep into some crazy rumors swirling around the upcoming Galaxy S25. It's all about the chipset, folks, and this time, things might get a little wild. For months, there's been a back and forth about what chip will power Samsung's next flagship. Some rumors pointed to an all Exynos 2500 approach, while others suggested it return to the two-chip strategy with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4. But hold on to your hats, because a new rumor throws a whole new brand into the mix. MediaTek. That's right, a three-chip Galaxy S25. Now, this is a first for Samsung, and it definitely raises some eyebrows. So what could be the potential benefits and drawbacks of such a bold move? One big advantage of bringing MediaTek on board is competition. With MediaTek in the picture, Samsung wouldn't be solely reliant on Qualcomm for flagship chips. This could potentially keep a check on chip prices, especially if the rumors of a hefty price hike for the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4 are true. Industry insiders are already buzzing about a 25-30% to 30 increase compared to the current Gen 3 chip. Ouch. But here's the thing. MediaTek isn't exactly a household name in the world of Galaxy flagships. Samsung has primarily used their chips in budget phones. Developing three separate Galaxy S25 variants, each with a different chip, could be a logistical nightmare. Imagine the complexity of creating and maintaining firmware updates for all three. Plus, let's face it, rising chip prices might be an unfortunate reality of the market right now. No matter which chip Samsung chooses, the final cost might be affected anyway. Now, if this rumor is pretty wild, and there's no concrete evidence to support it, we're still months away from the official Galaxy S25 announcement, so a lot can change between now and then. The rumor also doesn't specify which regions might get which chip. If there's any truth to this, our guess is that the MediaTek variant would be limited to specific markets, possibly China. The rest of the world might stick to the usual Exynos Qualcomm combo. So, what are your thoughts on this three-chip rumor? Do you think it's a good idea for Samsung to shake things up? Let us know in the comments below. Remember, this is all speculation for now. We'll definitely keep you updated as more news about the Galaxy S25 surfaces. Until then, stay tuned and smash that like button.